Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Carlo Pedata, Kobo Car Insurance, and Wallbox EV Chargers. Hey everyone, we're back for a retest of our experiment comparing the Tesla Model Y and the BYD Seal, looking at the temperatures of the glass roof uh, with and without sunshades, and also the ambient temperature as well. So, first up, I'm in the Tesla Model Y. Let's do this. So, first up, Tesla Model Y, the car is telling us that it's 31 degrees Celsius outside. And I've got it on 21 degrees Celsius, which is what I normally have it on if I'm driving this vehicle. And I've also brought along my trusty ambient thermometer. It's telling me it's 29.5 degrees. I've had this sitting here for the last 15 minutes. So I've seen it stabilize and hopefully that is accurate uh, for the current ambient temperature inside the car with the air conditioning running at 21 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm pointing straight up at the glass roof. There's the sun right there. And I've got a little patch of uh, duct tape sitting right there. And even touching that is quite warm, uh, but it's super hot actually touching the glass roof. So um, hopefully this square of duct tape will um, capture the heat from the glass roof and help with my readings today. Uh, you can't measure the glass roof directly because uh, there's emissivity uh, errors and also some of the heat might be reflected from um, the car or the cabin because glass is a reflective surface and also you might be measuring some of the radiant heat from the sun and outside as well. So we really want to try and capture the uh, thermal energy emitting from the glass and hopefully the square of duct tape will help capture that emission. Today I'm using the ThermPro thermometer which I got from Amazon. It's a pretty basic bit of equipment but essentially it's an infrared thermometer and it's got a range between minus 50 degrees and 550 degrees Celsius, which hopefully we won't reach that today. Uh, but essentially it's got a laser light and if you turn it on you can see the laser light uh, pointing out there. So according to the manual, uh, it's got a 12 to 1 distance to uh, surface ratio, which means that if you're pointing it at 12 centimeters away from the target, the square of reading is 1 centimeter. So that's what it means by 12 to 1. And it also recommends that you uh, measure it from a 20 centimeter distance so to help me control that, I've got a ruler which measures 20 centimeters from that black square. So I'll be doing all my readings in both cars from this distance. Okay, let's do our first reading in the Model Y. Capture. It's telling me it is 58 degrees Celsius currently at that black square. Of course, glass is not accurate, but it's pretty much the same reading, 57. So hopefully that is accurate. It's capturing the reading uh, from the glass with the heat being transferred to the uh, duct tape, 59 degrees. And you want to use duct tape because uh, it's opaque, there's no reflectivity, there's no radiance, so black duct tape is kind of the ideal conductor for this experiment. So let's say it's 60 degrees coming from the glass. Okay, so we can actually move across to the back of the car where I've got the sun's shade up already for the same amount of time. And the temperature has gone up, it's now 32 degrees. Okay, so now it's telling me it's 68 degrees with the duct tape. And if I come across to the sunshade area, it's 53.7 degrees. So that is a significant difference. That's a 14 degree difference uh, between the sunshade and the uh, square of duct tape on the unshaded bit. And I guess now to show whether these temperatures are relevant, I've got my cap here. Uh, sitting on the headrest in the passenger side and I've had this sitting here for as long as I've been in this car so I'm going to measure the cap and that will give an idea of how hot it is I guess for a human head sitting in the same position. Okay so you can see the laser light pointing at my cap at the same distance that I was pointing at the roof and it's saying it's 33 degrees celsius. Okay so now for the final part of the experiment I'm going to leave this car for 10 minutes and now 12.57 and I'll leave my thermometer here as well and then we'll see how hot the car gets and then we'll time when the uh, ambient temperature returns to 29.9 degrees with the air conditioning running when we come back into the car. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back, 32 degrees Celsius. The mobile is saying 32 degrees as well. It's been 10 minutes, 107. Let's get the AC going. Back to what it was. We'll see how quickly it takes to cool it down. Yep, that AC's working hard. All right, so a good five minutes has passed now. It was 1.07 when we came back in and turned the air conditioning on. 
Uh, just looking at the ambient thermometer, it's not quite back to baseline to what it was at 29.9. It's only 31.8. So it's dropped by maybe one degree Celsius in that time. Um, I do need to continue the experiment, otherwise I'll run out of time. I need to do something this afternoon. So yeah, it is dropping, but at least we've got a you know five minute reading post air conditioning. All right, let's go do the BYD seal. Okay, so we're back in the BYD seal. It's uh, saying 30 degrees. It feels pretty similar outside to be honest, hot and humid today. And uh, look, I haven't actually driven the car at all since I did my range test uh, five days ago. So look, no phantom train at all, which is great for the BYD seal. And I've got the air conditioning running at 24 degrees Celsius, which is what I normally have it anyway in this car because the air conditioning is actually quite cold. And I find anything lower than 24, even on a hot day, it gets quite cold in the cabin. And the uh, ambient thermometer has stabilized. It's now 28.5 degrees Celsius, uh, even dropping a little bit, so 28.4. And I've got the black square of duct tape on the roof, as I did for the Model Y. We must note too that the glass roof of the BYD seal is silver coated, which has been advertised as being better for heat rejection. And I must say that uh, it is much better and cooler to touch with my hand. Uh, I couldn't leave my hand on the Tesla Model Y glass roof for more than a few seconds uh, in the same temperature. So uh, it's definitely subjectively easier to touch. And I've got the same ruler as well, measuring 20 centimeters as per the thermometers manufacturer's uh, recommendations. And also I've got the shades that came included with the BYD seal for the rear half of the vehicle so that we can compare side by side what the temperature is and whether the shades actually do make a difference at all. So let's do this. Okay, so I've got my thermometer ready to go. I've got the square there. Let's point at the duct tape at the same distance as the Model Y. And it's telling me it's about 33 to 35 degrees. All right, so let's call it 35 degrees on the glass. And then cutting across to the rear of the car with the shades on. 30 degrees Celsius, so there we go. There's a five degree difference between the shades and the glass roof once it stabilizes. There you go. And once again, doing the same experiment with my cap in the same position, let's go a bit closer. It's about 20 centimeters. That's measuring 23 degrees, uh, measuring on the thermometer, pointing at my ludicrous feed cap at the same distance as it was for the Model Y. Okay, so now for the final part of the experiment, we're gonna leave the car with the aircon off in the sun for 10 minutes, and it's stabilized at 26.3 degrees ambient temperature, 24 degrees Celsius setting, as I normally do for this car. We'll come back in 10 minutes time and then see what the temperature is um, after five minutes with the air conditioning running when I come back. Okay, so now it's 1.32 p.m. Let's turn the car off. Okay, I'm back in the car and what is going on? 10 minutes have passed, let me assure you. 27.2, so it hasn't really moved that much, has it? Uh, let's turn the car on. Okay, now you can hear the air conditioning running. Okay, so yeah, now it's 34 degrees Celsius, so it's actually hotter than what it was. Well, at least the car is telling me it's hotter than what it was. Now it's 1.42, so confirming 10 minutes have passed. So we'll give it five minutes to uh, control for the Model Y as well, to see what the temperature is after five minutes. Got the AC running at 24 degrees Celsius. Alrighty, so five minutes has passed, 1.47 p.m. Still showing 33 degrees Celsius uh, on the ambient thermometer. It's now 27.1 degrees Celsius. So the temperature has dropped a little bit. So that completes our tests. Let's go analyze the data. Okay, and here are the results. And of course, with any scientific experiment, we try to control as many things as we can. Of course, that's not always possible because we are testing this in the real world, but I tried my very best. So let's see how we did. So both cars were tested within an hour and a half of each other. The Tesla Model Y showed an external temperature between 31 and 32 degrees, and the BYD seal told us that the outside temperature was between 30 to 34 degrees Celsius. Now I do accept the fact that both cars were of different colors, the BYD seal you can see there in white, and then the Tesla Model Y in blue obviously. Now I don't have unlimited resources and time, so these are the cars that I have in my garage. So I do accept the fact that the internal cabin temperature may be slightly accounted for by the colors of the vehicles. Obviously lighter colored cars will keep cooler than darker colored ones. 
Okay, so back to our results, and I used the same infrared thermometer, and I also used the same square of duct tape across both vehicles. So starting with the Tesla Model Y, and the first column is the naked glass. So by naked glass, I mean the duct tape on the glass. And you can see that unshaded, the Tesla Model Y glass registered a temperature of 69 degrees Celsius. With the sunshade on, it was 16 degrees less at 53 degrees Celsius. When I measured the cap, my cap on the passenger seat, it was 33 degrees Celsius. And with my ambient thermometer, the cabin temperature with my usual air conditioning settings registered 29.9 degrees Celsius that day. After 10 minutes with no air conditioning, it rose to 32.1 degrees Celsius. And then with the air conditioning running for five minutes, it dropped a little bit down to 31.7 degrees. Now onto the BYD seal, the naked glass temperature was 35 degrees Celsius according to the IR thermometer. With the sunshade on, it made a small difference and it dropped to 31 degrees Celsius. You can see that the glass of the BYD seal is significantly cooler than that of the Tesla Model Y. 34 degrees Celsius cooler, in fact. And even when the sunshades are on both vehicles, it's still 22 degrees cooler in the BYD seal. This is one reading where the colors of the vehicles wouldn't affect the temperature of the glass too much, given that it's directly exposed to sunlight in both situations. So how relevant is that? Well, if you look at the temperature of the cap, which I measured in the BYD seal to be 23 degrees Celsius, compared to the Tesla Model Y, which was 33 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees hotter than it is in the BYD seal. And assuming that is where your head is sitting near the headrest, that I think is a significant difference between the two vehicles. Looking at the cabin temperature, there wasn't too much of a difference, three degrees difference between the Tesla Model Y and BYD seal. What's interesting though is that the BYD seal tended to keep its temperature lower even with the air conditioning off and there wasn't too much change even after five minutes of air conditioning. So I think it's fair to say that the silver coating of the BYD glass, looking at these numbers on a fairly humid, warm Sydney day, goes a long way to help with heat rejection and ultimately keep the car and its occupants cooler overall. And one more thing to say too is that if you own a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y with a glass roof, I strongly recommend getting a sunshade, particularly for summer, and if possible make sure it's silver coated as well. As you can see with the BYD seal, the silver coating does make a huge difference to the point where the sunshades don't actually make that much of a difference because the glass roof is already silver coated, which is doing most of the hard work to keep your cabin cooler. Alright everyone, well thank you so much for watching my little experiment comparing the heat rejection properties of the glass roofs of both the Tesla Model Y and BYD Seal. If you've got any questions with regards to my methodology, results or analysis, please feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, thanks for watching and as always, happy charging.